as we say, good morning for Joburg's hottest bursary today. To uh, it's Veronique, Veronique Brechelmans. Yes, hi. Hi, Veronique. How are you doing? Very well, thanks. And you? Good. Welcome to the show. Welcome to the studio. Welcome to the radio station. Thank you very much. Whereabouts are you from? Lone Hill. Lone Hill. Yeah. Okay, not too far from here. And you've brought a couple of people here with you. Yes, I've got Beauty and Sikoletu with me. Okay. And uh, just tell us why you have, uh, how you know Beauty and Sikoletu and how, uh, what the relation is or relationship is. Okay. Um, just cut me short if I, if I talk too much. <laughs> I won't do that. I'm sure you won't. But uh, yeah, well, tell us the story. About three years ago, I had a jumble sale at my mom's house in Hanidu. Do people still have jumble sales? Yeah, you got to, you know. It's wow. Like, it's, it's, it's environmentally friendly to, to rotate things. You put all the stuff out in your front garden and then people in the neighborhood come through and buy stuff. Lots of fun. You meet incredible people like okay. Beauty and Sigoletti. There we go, Andy. Mm. Have a jumble sale. Okay. You might find your husband. <laughs> Sorry, yeah. but like, yes, so anyway, you are saying. No, so what happened was um, we were having this jumble sale, and then Sekoletu pitched up. Mm -hmm. She was nine years old at the time. And um, we struck up a conversation and just got on so well, and she decided to not leave me. Okay. So she spent three days with me and completely started managing everything and telling the, the guests where the men's wear was and the kids' wear was and stuff. And I was like, wow, this little girl is way smarter for her age than we can all imagine. She and was nine at this time. Nine at the time. She arrived at the jumble cell and never left. No. Okay. And started managing everything and coordinating and... <laughs> so you took over the jumble cell? Yes. You started running the jumble cell? Yes. You told Veronique, listen, you go get into the house, I'll manage this. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Mm. And then the jumble cell finished and Segoletu was like, you know what, I like you. I want to stick around. So mm. she used to come and spend weekends with me and... We'd watch movies and go ice skating and things. And then um, I used to clean my own house. And then Sigoletu says to me one day, you know, you work really hard during the week. You shouldn't have to clean your house. Mm. And my mom happens to be a domestic worker. Okay. So I think you two should hook up because my mom could really do with a bit of extra cash. Okay. So she ended up being a bit of an agent there and got to her mom. I mean, how can you say no to that, right? Oh, I can see an agent coming here when she's uh, finished school, yes. Yeah. So then um, Beauty's been with me for about two and a half years and we've become good friends. Mm. And They're sitting here holding each other's hand. Yeah. You know, they look like, uh, look like uh, sisters in arms. Yeah, we've been through a lot together. Yeah. And then a um, couple of months ago, Beauty says, yeah, so next year Sikko is going to high school. Mm-hmm. And I said to her, well, where is she going to high school? And she's like, well, on my salary, I can only really afford Cosmo City. Mm. And I was like, no, 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 no. This little girl deserves a really good education. I mean, she's nine, ten years old, managing things already. Like, she needs the right support, the right education. So, obviously, we can't really organize a private school because that's crazy fees. Yeah. But at least get her the top of the range government school. Okay. So I put a post out on Facebook going to my friends, my network across the world, like, guys, I want to help Beauty collect some money to send Seko to a really good school. And um, we're hoping to get her into either Four Ways High, but they're already full. Mm -hmm. um, so either Four Ways or North Riding, and we need about 40,000 Rand okay. to secure just one year of school Which you fees. didn't have, obviously. No, I didn't no. have. And that started on the 28th of May. This year? Yeah, okay, that I put that post out. Yeah. So it's been just, what, two weeks? Yeah. And people from all over the world, we've got Dubai, Nigeria, throughout South Africa, Anything from Nkandla there? Did they contribute anything in Nkandla? No. No, 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 I think that's wishful thinking. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, Australia, New Zealand, wow. England, Canada, Holland, Serbia, and China. It's so amazing. So, so far we've collected, as of this morning, about 28,000 rand. So, yeah. we still need about 12. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, so we started a little Facebook page for Seko. She sees that she's already famous. Mm -hmm. And um, all these people, there's about 20 donators now. They're all watching her. And they, they all want to see that she does really well at school. Cool. So, she's going to have to perform because her, her report card is going to go, like, all over the internet. Yeah. And, um, You're a yeah. public pupil now. You know that, Siko. Mm. Yeah. All yeah. right. So now, is this for next year or is this for this year? Or what, what for next year. For next she year. She starts what? high school next year. Okay. So you're in what uh, grade? I, I, I was still at school when it was standard five. So you're in grade what now? 
Seven. You're in grade seven now. So yes. you go to grade eight next year. Yes. Okay, and that's at North Riding or Four Ways? Yeah. North Riding. Yeah. Okay. I've, so it depends who can accommodate her because it's a mm. bit late in the game, but it's looking good. Well, maybe some of them are listening and they might start fighting over you. You just sound like you have a lot of uh, entrepreneurship in her and yeah. uh, innovation and intuition, which is great. Nice to meet you. How old are you? Twelve years old. Twelve years old. And what do you want to do when you finish school? What do you want to be? Ah, I have two points. I want to be a doctor or a businesswoman. Yeah, I think you. Well, I don't know about the doctor side, um, but certainly businesswoman. Uh, it sounds like you've got the makings of doing that, and uh, you've got lots of time. Don't have to worry about it, Siko, because uh, you've still got a few years to get your schooling finished. So, finish this year's schooling, okay? And she's covered for this year, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, all sorted. And then next year, uh, all your friends from around the world. That are watching you, put the 28,000, you said. Okay. And we here at Jobbik's Hottest Bursary are going to add in the other 12,000 Rand. Wow. Wow. Okay. Yes, thank so you. So your school fees are covered for next year. You're gonna, you don't have to worry about that. 12,000 Rand. Beauty's sitting here as well, Siko's mother. How's that for you? Okay. You don't have to worry about uh, She's got her schooling sorted out next year. Okay, thanks. And yeah, pleasure. And Veronique, thank you very much for, uh, for bringing this to our attention. Thank you, guys. And thanks for what you do for Seiko. And yeah, part of, part of the family now. Eh? There we go. And Seiko, good luck with schooling this year. Thank you. What do you reckon you'll get at the end of the year? A's, distinctions, A, B, what? I'm not sure, but not, I'm sure that I will pass. Yeah, of course you'll pass. You'll no, pass. she's going to do better than pass. There we go. And we'll keep uh, keep tabs on you. We'll see how things are going this year and next year as well, okay? Yes. Darren, can yeah. I ask one more thing? Yeah. Because um, she's going to need to do Afrikaans next year. Okay. And the school that she's in now, they don't do that. Mm. So that's going to be a challenge. So if anybody out there is listening that can maybe help her just... Extra Afrikaans lessons. To do Afrikaans, yes. that I'm would be sure fabulous. I'm sure they are, and I'm sure someone is going to SMS us before you leave this building this morning. Uh, if anyone can help, uh, Secret, she's an amazing young lady. I'm, I'm sitting here looking at her. She's got a, uh, there's this bright little face, and she's smiling, and she's positive and confident. And uh, if anyone wants to help out with extra Afrikaans lessons, please let us know. SMS us 47919. Or you can email us, wings with a Z at balls with a Z dot co dot Z A. And uh, we'll put you in touch and have that sorted out. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you Beauty. Thank and you. Good luck, Siko. Thank you. Nice nice to meet you. And uh, as I say, we'll be staying in touch with you. And that is Joburg's Hottest Bursary this morning. If you have somebody that you'd like to help out, just as Veronique has done with Beauty and Siko, then uh, all you have to do is let us know. Wings at balls.co.za. That's wings with a Z at balls with a Z dot co dot Z-A. Chatting to Veronique a little earlier on, and uh, Sikuletu, who are back in the studio, and uh, there was a little appeal put out uh, just at the end of our Jobbik's Hottest Bursary for somebody that might be able to help Sikuletu with extra Afrikaans lessons. And we said our listeners are always there for us. That this happens every single week. Morning, Colleen. Morning, Darren. How are you? I'm very good. Yourself? Good, thank you. Is she Afrikaans? No, I've just got a very shaky voice. Sorry, Ash and I were having a little bit of a scary moment. <laughs> no, no, I didn't, mean, I, didn't, I didn't mean you sounded because I said, I said, no, I've just got a very shaky voice. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't because of the, how you sound. Okay, sorry. It's like a bit of a scary moment. Yeah, it's an yeah. awesome opportunity for us to get involved in this kind no, of No, our studio is also uh, all in tears at the moment. So, Colleen, <laughs> Veronique and yes. uh, Sicoletto are listening to you right now. Yeah, so go okay. ahead. I know you phoned in because you wanted to help out. Yes, yes, I do. I want to go a little bit beyond the extra Afrikaans lessons. I We own a private school in North Riding, just outside of Sharon of Malabongwe. Mm-hmm. And I'd like to go as far as offering a full year of grade 8 um, wow. on us for free, virtually. And then if she achieves really well, we'll go ahead and, and follow the same thing through to grade 9. You know, we look for these achievers, these kids that are, you know, education in the priority. And that's tough to find. And we, we want to reward her with with a free year of free year of schooling. Wow, that's awesome! That is unbelievable. Yes. So a bursary for for uh, next uh, next year and yes, and the year, year after. Correct, and we've got our curriculum provider um, involved as well, Mindscape Education. They're going to be sponsoring all the textbooks. So we literally have the uniform, the full year, and the textbooks all sorted within a matter of fifteen minutes. And do you teach <laughs> so off the there? Yes, we do. We do, and we have um, we have teachers who can help her one on one with Afrikaans. That is unbelievable. What do you want to say uh, to Colleen Sikoletu? Thank you very much, and 
Thank you for your support. I, it really meant a lot to me. Oh, it's a treasure. It's a treasure. We love to see girls like you flourish, and that's what we're here for. Colleen, what, uh, by, the, by, by the sounds of things, circulated from what I've heard, she'll probably be running the school by next year. Yeah, that's fantastic. <laughs> then I can retire. That's awesome. <laughs> what is the name of your school, by the way? Is it a... Um, we're called Megamind Tutor Centre, okay. and we've got uh, just under 60 children who school with us from grade 8 to grade 12, some mm. professional sports kids in there, but generally kids who just, you know, public school is, is fantastic, but sometimes you do need the smaller classes just to get the best value for your, okay. for your education. There we go. That is unbelievable. Thank you so much, Colleen, to you and everybody there at the school. No problem at all. And uh, you're just going to have so much pleasure when you see uh, Sikoletta's face. Thank you you so much, Sharon, for letting us get involved. Appreciate your call. Thanks, Colleen. Thanks so much. Bye. Cheers. Bye. How awesome is that? Eh? (sighs) Your schooling's sort of done. Bursary for the next two years. For two years. Eh? So what we'll do is... school uniforms. So what we'll do, we'll keep that uh, that money uh, aside that has been pledged. Okay, uh, I'm sure if things go very, very well, you might not have to even use it for, for school. But uh, as you go on, when you get into your uh, your final year, if you don't leave school earlier because you're so intelligent, uh, <laughs> we'll stay in touch with you. And uh, So basically, I think that basically your schooling for the rest of your, your life is sorted. Sure. Okay. <laughs> Thanks for coming to visit us. Okay, you can now have a very nice day. I know you've got to do a maths exam. Oh, thank you. So, so better, you better get on your way. But Veronique and Sikoleta and Beauty, thank you very much. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. Here we go. That is Jobbik's Hottest Bursary today.